way far. Like that, my... I broke them! I broke my glasses! by the Deftones, one of my favorite bands, although I don't know if it's the Deftones or just Deftones. I should know that. Let me call my uh, Deftones guy. Um, I don't have his number. So this song is, uh, it's kind of an electric guitar song. I'm playing on acoustic song. I'm playing on an acoustic song. Acoustic guitar. Obviously I'm allergic to electric guitars. Let's learn this song. It's in drop C. It's in drop C tuning. We tune down a full step with all the strings. Then we tune this top string down an additional full step. It's like it's like drop D tuning tuned down a whole step. Crazy, I know, right? Top string is C, a very low C. Then the next one is a G, and then another C, and then an F, and then an A, and then a D here. I'll show you, I'll give you a good listen of each of my strings so you can double check to see if you're tuned right. So here's the top one. Here's the next one. This is a G. This next one's a C. Here we go. Then a big old F. Then, you know, we've got an A. And then a D. This is low enough that it might, the strings might start sounding really rattly and they might sound kind of out of tune and stuff like that. Such a big cool part of the song is how low and deep and sludgy the sound of it is. If your guitar just sounds awful tuned down like this, higher gauge strings, like thicker strings could, could be better like heavy gauge strings. So anyway, let's start the song. Oh, it's been so long. How long? It's been three minutes. I haven't played any notes yet. I think it's a good enough start though. I explained the things I needed to explain. I think we're ready to go. <coughs> Would you please put your pointer finger on the eighth fret of the A string? That's the second string from the top. And then I use my pinky to play the 10th fret on the G string, the third string from the bottom. I feel like I may have misspoke at some point. Look at this, top string is open, then eighth fret on the next string. Then ideally, you'd have the next string, the third string from the top, muted by your pointer finger. Then either ring finger or pinky, it's up to you, is gonna play the 10th fret on the G string. And then the next two strings, I just have them muted by my pointer finger. So you have the base of my point, uh, pointer finger. Pointer finger! is muting those bottom two strings. Look, my knee, my knee just got here. My knee never makes appearance in these videos. Appearances. Well, it's been, a, you know, we're in the middle of a cyclone bomb. That's what I hear. There's some rain outside. The wind is a blowing. The cyclones are a bombing. So stay off those roads today. Stay safe. I just kicked the camera a little bit. It's cold out there every morning. Groundhog day. I forget what they say. First step is a doozy. This is, this is the slowest start to any of these videos. So, I should start over, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to. Ah, uh, we've got this chord. Sounds like this. Zero, eight, mute, 10, mute, mute. It's a pretty chord, it's a haunting chord, an eerie chord. Um, we're gonna play, we're just gonna strum death for the intro, we're just gonna strum down. We're gonna play this chord. 16 times, but I'm not counting to 16. I'm counting to eight, two times. I'm going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But that's actually, if we're being honest, that's not even what I'm doing. I'm going, I'm thinking one, two, three, 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 four. So I'm actually, this is what I'm counting to myself. I'm thinking one, two, three, 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 four. So that was one, two, three, 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 four. Four threes, what's four times three? 12 plus four, 16, it all adds up. Here's why I'm doing that, because we want the 
first strum of every group of three to be accent to be accented. We want that first strum of every group of three to be have a little oomph to it, a little bit louder. So it, so here here's what I mean. Watch one two. Here we go. One two three. One two three. One two. Uh, the way that I'm accenting is on that one, on the one, two, three, one, two, three. I'm hitting the strings a little bit harder. I'm also making sure to hit all of those top four strings for that first strum. Then for the next two strums, I'm just hitting the top one or two strings and doing it kind of softly. So I'm going loud, soft, soft, loud, soft, soft, loud, soft, soft. Mostly though, you know, I am playing a little softer on the two and three but I'm mostly just aiming for the top string on those second two strums and hitting all four on the first strum. That was a lot of numbers and a lot of things about strumming. One, two, watch this. One, two, three, 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 four. Right, right, do it with me. One, two, three, four, one, That, that's a big part of the song. It's getting those accents, that right groove to the song. It's not a funky groove. It's like a, it's like a, 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 a rolling groove is what I'm going to call it. So we do that, right? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two. Then the pointer finger goes back to the fifth fret. Your pointer finger is going to smash on the fifth fret of the top two or three strings. Ideally, it's probably the, the top three, but it really doesn't matter <clears throat> that matter that much. I'm just seeing my fingers flat, smashing on those top two. And then if the next one, if you can hear the note, great. If you can't, no problem. We're gonna play this three times. One, two, three. Then your pinky is gonna stretch up to eight of the D string, the third string from the top. I think we play that three times. One, two, three, one, two, three, yep. Then bring your pinky back to the fifth fret, or if you want, you can switch to your ring finger. I don't care. I think I switched my ring finger, but I think the guys in Deftones use the same finger and just move it back and forth. Can you hear how much I've already lost my voice from the videos I've recorded today? One, two, three, pinky, and then switch to the seventh fret. So it's one, two, three on five, then one, two, three with your pinky on eight, then one, two, three with one of your fingers on seven of the D string. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Then go back to the eighth fret. I think we play it four times though. One, two, three, four, and then switch back to seven two times. Let me make sure that's right. One, two, three, Okay, I was basically right, but when we get back to that seventh fret, you're gonna do it three times. Three, four, two, one, two, four, six, eight. One, two, just that part. And one, two, three, eight, seven, eight, three, uh, seven, seven, seven. Very confusing. One more time. One, two, here we go. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. So confusing. Who wrote this stupid thing? That's the main riff, coolest part of the song. It just does those two parts over and over again. Let's do both of those two chords together with all the eight, seven stuff, nice and slow. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Too bad. Not too bad. Do I have a, you know, I have, I have a question for you. Do you think that you have to sit there and count one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, every single gosh darn time you play this song? My answer to you, even though I asked you the question, but still my answer 
songs. No, you don't have to do that every time. I, I would just do it the first several times you played the song. Just count like that to make sure you're switching after the right number of strums. But then after that, you'll just have it in your head and you can just go with the flow. You can sing along, you can vibe out to the cool sounds of the groove. I keep kicking, stop! Um, and, and you don't need to count all the time. It's just a learning tool. The counting is just a learning tool, guys. Now, once the singing starts, what I recommend that I think works pretty well is you go down, 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 down at the beginning. But then once the singing starts, you can start going down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. It's a little bit easier to sing and play when you're strumming down and up. Plus, the down and up adds a little bit more of a vibey feel to it. But you can totally just stick with going down, 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 that's fine. If you're going down and up, like I just said, it's going to be a little bit trickier to count the one, two, three, because you're going to be going, instead of just one, two, three, one, two, three, it's going to be one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. It's like the different, the accented notes are on different directions, and it's a kind of a mess. Let me, let's, let's go over it briefly right now. Get that first chord ready to go. Check this out. One, two, three. So see, it's like down, two, three, up, two, three, down, two, three, up, two, three, down, up, down, up. It's a, it's a little weird. Let's try the whole, this is the verse, by the way. If you didn't know, I'm telling you now, this is the verse. Let's do the whole verse together, trying it with the down and up. Even if you decide just to do down in the future, try down and up with me just for the time being. One, two, and nice and slow, buckle my shoe. Down, up, down, up, down. If we do that faster, it sounds, I think, a little better. We go. A couple extra stray notes got in there. I closed my eyes for, I blinked and then just kept my eyes closed. That's the verse. Let's talk about the chorus. Chorus is how I play the chorus. I play the chorus like this. I go. Here's what I'm doing. I've got my pinky on the 10th fret of the G string. The third string from the bottom it sounds like this. It's a nice note that goes with the chord. I, it's on the recording. It's hard to tell if they're playing that note or not, but whatever. They have two guitars. I have one guitar. Uh, Chino and Sebastian, uh, Forrester, uh, Rainbow Cloud. What's his name? What's the name of the person? Abe? Chino? And the guitarist's name is the guitarist Abe? I forget. I know it's not Sylvester and I know his name is not Alabama. But I do not remember the other things about his name. Not important for this video. They have two guitarists. That's the point I'm making. We have one. So, uh, okay, what am I doing? We've got the pinky on the 10th fret of the G string, third string from the bottom. I am muting the bottom two strings with that pinky. Then, on, I am hitting the top four strings. One, two, three, four. And I'm just going down, up, down, up. Sometimes I might skip a strum, I might go. Like right there I went down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. It's kind of cool to start with just a down, down, up, down, up, down, up, something like that. And let's go with that. Let's do, let's, if you want to add some variation to the strumming, start with down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. That works pretty well, right? I think we can all agree that, that no one's paying attention. 16 strums on this chord. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to switch to this chord. You're going to keep your pinky on the 10th fret of the G string, but your pointer finger is going to smash down on eight of the top three strings. Eight, eight, eight. And we've still got that 10 with the pinky. 
we're gonna strum down, up, down. So that's three strums. Then add your ring finger to the 10th fret of the D string, the third string from the top, and strum up, down, up. Then get rid of your ring string and strum down, up, down. Yep, and then add your ring finger back, strum up, down, up, and then go back to no ring finger and go down, up, down, up, or something. Let's see. One, two, three, 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 four. Exactly. Look, same like one, two, three, 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 four that we did at the very beginning. We've just got it with this different chord now. So we're going one, two, three, 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 four. Then right back to this guy, just that tenth fret, and the top three strings open. So here is the chorus in its entirety. One. count of how many times I did it, lost count of how many times they do it. We got the verse. Well, probably four times. Then we go into the chorus. Probably four times. Then we go back into the verse. See how I switched to all down there? I don't know if they do that or not. I just, I kind of like strumming it all down sometimes and then doing down and up sometimes. It's just, it's just a weird thing about me. I don't know. I'm just like, like doing things, like doing things a little differently, you know? Yeah. I got fuzz on my pants. So, we've got this after we do the verse. We do the chorus. We do the verse. We do the chorus. Then we go to what I like to call the bridge. The bridge, I go like this. I go. So here's how I play the first chord. My pointer finger smashes down on the third fret of the top. One, two, three strings. My pointer finger also mutes the fourth string. Wait, actually. Yeah, it's gonna mute the fourth string from the top. So I'm just, see how my pointer finger's going bloop. One, two, three, and then muted fourth string. Not that hard. Then your pinky or your ring finger, it's up to you. I use my pinky, plays the fifth fret on the second to bottom string, the B string. So now we've got, it's really a cool chord. It's a very Deftonesy type chord if you ask me. And we're just going. It's that same one, two, three, 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 four. Same rhythm with the accents. Then we go to this chord. This is just like a D kind of chord, but it's C because we're tuned down. I don't know why I bothered to say the name of it. Doesn't even doesn't matter. Top string open. Next string open. Third string from the top open. Second fret on the third string from the bottom. You can use any finger you want. I don't even care. Third fret on the second string from the bottom. Any finger, I don't even care. I'm using pointer and ring. And then the bottom string, the high E, that can be open or it can be muted. I think I usually mute it. Just the pad of my ring finger just kind of smashes down and mutes that bottom string. So we've just got this nice, big, open, beautiful, lush, uh, swelling, poisonous, rambunctious, feeling chord. Bridge goes like this. One, two, three, four. I sound just like Chino from the Deftones when I do that. 
The Deftones or Deftones? We'll never know. We'll never know. I'm so happy because I'm almost done with all of my videos for today. I mean, I love it. I love doing it. It's my favorite thing to do. I'd do it all day if I could. I'm just so happy that I'm almost done. Let's learn the little bridge where they go. I love it. Reminds me of, reminds me of a, of a, of a dangerous serpent in the ocean of a swamp. Look at this. We play the first chord. That first chord, remember the zero, eight, nothing, ten. We're just going to do one strum of that chord. Listen to that. You hold it out for one, two, three, four, four big old beats, four big death tone beats. Then you're gonna play fifth fret on the top string. You're gonna play one, two, three, two times on that fifth fret on the top. Then go to the eighth fret on the third string from the top, the D string, play eight, eight, eight. Then on the same string, play seven, seven, seven. Let me make sure I'm right about this. Oh, I'm totally right about it. So we go five, five, five on the top. 888 eight, eight on the third from the top, 777 seven, seven on the same string, then 888 eight, eight on the second string from the top, the A string. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Then you're going to play seven on the third string from the top twice, eight on the second string from the top twice. So we've got five, 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 eight, 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 seven, 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 eight, eight, eight. Seven, seven, eight, eight. One more time slowly. Play it with me, will you? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two. Excellent job. Then we go right back to the first chord again. You wait for four of those big death tones beats again, and then you do the five, 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 eight, 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 eight seven, 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 eight, 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 seven, seven, eight. Again. Let me let's play this whole part. And this is like the after the bridge. You know, I called that that this part the bridge. Yeah, we're gonna call it the bridge. I think that's the bridge. I think I was right. I think I, I think I'm I think I was right. Now we're doing I guess the post bridge quiet part. I don't know. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four, and up. They either do it two times or four times. I don't know. Listen to the song. You can count it. You know how it is. I've got these lights and they're giving me a headache. My head is burning from the fire of my headache. Do I have any coffee left? I don't have any coffee left. But I do have this San Pellegrino, you know, sparkling water. The computer fell asleep. That was a close one. I'll probably just edit that part out anyway because I was drinking. It's weird when I drink on camera. Um, here's what happens after that. They have that quiet part. Then it goes into a chorus, but here's what's kind of weird. They're playing the guitar part from the verse. <laughs> while they're doing a big old loud chorus. Then they go into another part where they're playing the chorus part. The chorus part was the... Uh, Uh, they do that during another part. Maybe it's like a second chorus. I don't know what that is. I'm not going to pay attention to that. Then they go back into the bridge. Whoa, that was a wrong note. Um, and then, um, and then I feel like, you know, back in the, back in the day, I used to play some shows at like clubs and it'd be late at night on a Tuesday. And like you'd start, you'd play a couple songs and then like it would get really late, like two o'clock and everyone would just kind of slowly start to leave. And then at a certain point you realize you were playing for an empty room and you're still performing. So you're like, I got to keep performing, but I, but I just am gonna, but there's nobody here. So, so this is kind of weird. And that's kind of what I feel like right now. I kind of feel like, kind of feel like there's nobody here and I'm just kind of, I don't know.
I mean, I made it pretty far into the song at this point. Um, I think I have to show you an ending. I think there's an ending to the song at some point. Oh, I remember. It goes like this. It goes... It's very aggressive. Very aggressive. It's the two chords from the beginning of the song. But they play top, top one or two strings. And then they strum ow, big one. They go. So like top string and then full strum and then full strum and then full strum and then full strum. So it's going. So that's like one, two, three, one, two. Like that, my, I broke them. I broke my glasses. Oh, I can fix this. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. It was already broken right there. See, this is gonna be fine. I've got the lens right here. Don't panic. Don't panic. It's gonna, it's gonna be fine. I can fix these. Guys, I can fix these. I can fix them. I can fix, oh, there we go. Look, there's like. Okay, I need some super. Cool. We'll get to we'll get to that in a little bit. Probably shouldn't have thrown him across the room as hard as I could. I was a little frustrated. And okay, and then we go to the second chord. Remember the one where it's five, and you reach up to eight, and you do the same thing. You go top string, big strum, big strum, big strum, big strum. So it's like this. One, two, then a. That's how you play Change in the House of Flies by Deftones. I did two songs called Change today. Change in the House of Flies and then an Alex G song called Change. They're both in drop C tuning. That's crazy. <laughs>